Hey everyone, Gary Gaines, and welcome back inside another video. To, I know I'm a day late, but I had a lot of stuff going on with um, Friday, and these 76 overall right tackle. Come on, I know he's 29, but still. I, I, sometimes that's a bug. I mean, imagine what he did show up every once in a while. Looks like he is still on the team. I really do not like him. No one dead. He's 29. I'm just going to trade him away. It was kind of dumb to release him. When I can get a pretty good stuff. And he's also a large majority of my cap. Oh. Is there even a single team that can afford him? They're getting kind of close to being able to afford him. I think I might have to go with the Dolphins and actually have to trade for someone. Maybe Gasicki? Ron Leary, they picked up Ron Leary. I am in year number two now. Looks like Ron Patrick is not on the team. Ron Howard's not on the team either. Yeah, my clock's still there. Monty Parker's still leaving the receiver. And then it's going back Siki. Okay, they they made a few moves. They drafted a player. I think the Dolphins are, aren't going to be complete trash. I need a little linebacker most of all. That's where they got Jerome Baker. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get him. Alright, well... Okay, why are all of these teams unable to afford them? Whoa, the Jaguars have so much money up their sleeve. Dang, they're paying a few players. They're paying some big money to a few players. So I'm thinking, starting to miss you, I need help at running back. I'm thinking, night receiver. Maybe left then here with Josh Allen. They got some few they got a few good players here. Joe. Well, I thought that was gonna happen. I don't want much cap in return. So I can't get players like my Miles Jack. CJ Henderson looks like he's leading the charge at corner, so not very surprising. Got the weak, one of the weakest defenses in the NFL, in the Jaguars. So, going after a first round draft pick for Jawan James. He's worth a lot of money. Oh, hey there, Colton. I, I'm paying a few players myself. What I'm not too happy about is Kareem Jackson. I'm definitely giving up to Kareem Jackson. They need safeties. Um, come on. Can't give up strong safety. Sean Lee's the only move to strong safety, so I can't actually give up Duke Dawson here. He was wanted. First on draft pick coming to Denver. Kareem Jackson, I'm really not really happy of and I won't easily start at strong safety. He's a rookie or I mean that's the thing about Madden 21. It used to be like most players had hit and dead in Madden 20. So now only the overrated players really get hit and dead. As I draft a 60 overall running back, who was a undra who had undrafted talent, I really liked him mainly because he had some pretty good traits and he got started unsurprisingly. Something big is his good speed agility. He's not just fast; he's pretty agile, and he's also pretty strong and like one of the most aware players I've drafted. Let's go carrying. 
Good BC vision, good break tackle, good trucking, good stiff arm, good change of direction, decent spin move, good juke move, and can catch pretty decently. Route running, I'm not really proud of. The jumping, not proud of either. He's throwing the pressure. It's his best type of throw. He's also a. This guy's probably not a bad quarterback either. So he can play, he can also play a bit. He can play a bit more positions than he lets on. I also want to give some good starting time to him, so I'll give him number three running back. I also signed Devin Punches. He's hopefully going to be a solid number three receiver. Also signed the left tackle. Couldn't sign a tight end, so I was thinking about trading for one. But an ultra draft pick here. This is a big pick. Hopefully going to start this year. From Alabama, not surprised. Let's see what he is. Superstar X Factor. Okay, that's pretty big. So at I'll add another really good player to this. Queen Jackson, I am going to head to trade block after he heals. I also picked up Hana Ford in the offseason, which is to me a big extension, especially to the D line that was struggling thanks to regression and retirement. So hopefully. Hopefully this team will go a long way now. Be a rookie player is helping us out. A good offensive line for the most part. For the most part. Not the best you could get. I might be looking to add some good players this offseason. Also, I want to have to say goodbye to a few players. Kareem Jackson, I'm really not that surprised I have to say goodbye. But Jarrell Casey and Gina Watkins. And maybe even Johnson here, because what is he, like, what, 29? Yeah, I want to probably say goodbye to him. Alexander Bradley Chubb, still got him for a while. Bruce, he's a rookie. Justin Simmons, he's pretty young still. AJ Boyer, I also might have to say goodbye to. He's 30. Pana Ford, I did just sign him. He has a lot of time left to develop. So I got a few older veterans on defense. Also, I might have to say goodbye to Melvin Gordon, who had a great season last year, who's now 28. He's getting up there in age for a running back. I have to say goodbye to the left tackle. Just got him. Hopefully, I might go after drafting a running back to sit behind Melvin Gordon for a while. On defense, I might have to draft another defensive tackle. That's going to be pretty big. Losing a superstar player. So let's see. Let's see who the best player was of the draft. I think I might have showed this in the last video. Sorry if I did. Jaguars has number one overall draft pick. Best player goes to the Atlanta Falcons, 78 overall linebacker, and 78 overall left end for Troy, and 78 overall defensive tackle from New York. And we. We're still pretty high, so I feel like hopefully that this will be good. We still get Kareem Jackson hurt. Nope, Kareem Jackson available to play again. I'm immediately adding him the trade block. And we're obviously having starts who doesn't play much. Kareem Jackson, if you didn't know, is 33. Adding him the trade block. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll go our way. I don't feel we get like at least a second round draft pick. But let's see. Yeah, we got a good win there. No offers just yet. I want to go into 
into more of our run blocking. I want to go into run block power. Mainly because we have a bad quarterback. I'm hoping to draft one in the next few years. We get crushed. And yet he didn't give up a single sack. I think he's our starting center, and that's why. It doesn't matter if we get crushed, because this is a preseason. No offers for Kareem Jackson just yet. Trust again, for the Grand Jacksonville. I don't even know if he should go to the practice squad. Like our number three tight end. Why do I have so many tight ends in the first place? You only really need three on the active roster. Yeah, you can go to the practice squad. I don't know if Jake that's worth keeping around. How many receivers I got? I only got eight. Well, time to cut. That's something. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not cutting him. Um, Mended. Okay. All. Oh, also, I know we have some terrible players on this team. It is a number two quarterback. Gotta keep him on the team. Apparently, he already went back to the practice squad. Okay. All right. Practice squad for Calvin Bush. Pretty slow actually. Okay, we can craft the squad. Oh, Leontay Boy, I'll definitely want to keep around. Craft the squad for Billy Wench. And let's go in. Craft the squad, Josh Watson. So I got a few young, I have a few bad yet yeah, young players, hopefully. Oh, I think players that got put on the practice squad are there. That happens when you put players on practice squad and they're getting upgraded. Okay, well. Alright. Okay, this time it actually works. James Bankson gets his first upgrade of his career. Look. 60 pounders. He is very fast. Makes me believe he was once a linebacker. He's probably like the fastest defensive player, probably the like fastest defensive lineman in the entire league. I'll go in and look at that. It's roster. Um, NFL. Obviously got all of these players, but you're gonna go to right or defensive tackle, whatever. Really tight. What's your clock? Says seventy-eight speed. Dang, Sheldon is the slowest. That's the price there. Eighty-three speed. Solomon Thomas and Tankle take one. Lewis, okay. Right end. He's fastest. Chase Young. Miles Garrett, Darius McKinley. Jeez, if, why is it? Okay. All right, there are a lot of fast uh, defensive linemen. Heck. Okay, they're on left end. Joe Casey has so many speed. Jeez. Oh. He's sweet. Has the most. Molotra is sweet. 91 speed. Heck, isn't he a backup there behind whoever's, whatever, what's his name? <clears throat> no one actually wants Kareem Jackson just yet. And again, we're in negative cap. Not surprisingly, soon we'll be out. Holy heck. Okay. Please, give me this cap. I don't even know if anyone but the Jaguars can afford you. They're definitely yours. Mm. Yep, 
Jaguars can't afford you. They don't even give a crap about you, though. Panthers can almost afford you. There we are. So, Panthers actually gave a crap about them and can almost afford him, which means I have to trade for someone. How did they get Brian Burns? Um, let's see. <clears throat> I want to need a corner. So they have some decent corners here. Maybe Deontay Jackson? Not even anywhere near. Quan Short. That could be interesting. I don't want someone too expensive, though. A tackle. Halo Motion. If you want to roll. And maybe throw in a fourth. I'm trying to get a few picks these first years. A fourth. Right tackle and a fourth for Green Jackson. And nowhere near. Dang. See, even top five strong safety. <clears throat> they don't even need a strong safety. They do need a better safety. What do they have a quarterback? All they have is to take. Okay, this one suck. Come on. I need just someone they probably wouldn't give a crap about. That cost over a million. True wise, I might actually need them in the near f future. And then maybe a third. Isn't really anyone near there, but. It's okay. And maybe just for the player. No, I'm not going to go just for the player. A bit. Come on. Come on. Yes, we move Trey Jackson on. Get a draft pick and get someone that will need soon. And we are playing in Pittsburgh. Let's see what happens. And we lose 32 to 28. I, I got a glimpse of what Drew Locke had. That's something. 315 yards against Pittsburgh. All right. So we'll lose our first game of the year. Big Ben had more. Two picks. Okay. Accuracy. Both teams had three sacks. No backups got involved. James, the running didn't get anywhere. Royce Freeman led us for 35 yards. Melvin Gordon, 23. Big Ben actually had five. Okay. Receiving, Deontay Johnson led. Royce Freeman, 92. Use Smith Schuster, 90. Noah Fan, 83. Adam Funches, 54. Here, Judy, 31. Colin Sutton, 24. Defensively, who had the most tackles? Justin Simmons, who had the most tackles for loss? Bradley Judd, who had the most sacks? Emmanuel Abba, who had the most picks? Devin Bush. All right, Devin Bush had two picks. You can't just throw it straight to him, Drew. All right, already got one player. When did I get Ryan suck up? Heck, I don't want you. Dude, he wants money. Dude, look at this guy. Kick power, 90. Kick accuracy, 74. This guy sucks. Sorry. I know I have your uh, your Titans jersey, Ryan. That's a true fact. 
I I do have his Titan jersey. That was the year before he went terrible. Heck. Well, um, I'm not gonna sign. I'm not gonna sign him. So we're playing at home. Oh heck. He's oh he's going against Colton Nelson and he's going against a good part of all all the line. Let's sure guard him. Alright, our game day goal is just to beat him. Neutralize is not even not even give up a sack, which he's gonna get a sack or two. I won't be surprised if Drew Lock takes a few sacks. And we get destroyed. And we're facing Kansas City. This will be fun. And our backup free safety gets an upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna do his man coverage. Now is not completely trash, but he's still trash. Actually beat Chris Jones and the Chiefs. Heck, how the heck did that happen? All right, that's a way to get get kicked off. Justin Simmons is up for That's pretty nice. All right. I want to look at the stats of this game. Lose by three, and just that Chris Jones is hurt. My God. And then Sean Weasley, the rookie I signed, I mean, drafted. I guess first upgrade of his career, I think. Good thing I traded for that other guy from um, the Panthers. I want to look at the Chiefs. Tyree Kill is hurt. Woo. And Kendrick Burke. Kendrick Bourne is hurt. What the heck, what the heck happened to defensive tackle? What the heck happened to Chris Jones? Do you not need to discuss him because we know how to beat him? Okay. We only have one win of, it's fitting that it's against the Chiefs, too. Stats, of course, they got Colin Kaepernick. You had a good performance. Jacob Eason had 10 yards. Five sacks for Drew Locke. And two picks. Running, no more than 57 yards. Receiving, uh, Jerry Judy Lettuce, not surprising. Quote Nelson? No, this can't be right. Quote Nelson's our best player. You have three sacks. Alright. Our lowest scoring game was against Chase Young in Washington. Our high scoring game is a three way tie between Indianapolis, Kansas City, and Pittsburgh. Two of those who lost scored 28 points in three games and lost two of those. Both teams are one and three. Our only wins against them, and that was it. Okay. 
I've never seen this before. He's frustrated. Yeah, he gets a breakout. It's not gonna work because we're against LA, but okay. <laughs> Two hundred. Oh, I forgot he's a superstar. So it's the one who has a breakout. I mean, here's the thing. We're two and three on how we've been playing. And he is, um... I want to see how many yards he has. But from the two games I've seen, he doesn't have much. So I want to get him involved. And, uh, okay. Five touches are 100 plus yards. There's, hopefully he gets his breakout, because if he does, then... That happens. I kind of want to. No, not. Let's get. Damn it. Um, stats. Did you walk already over a thousand yards? That's pretty good. 10 picks and two, 12 touchdowns. Yeah, I'm have to bring him bread. Running, Melvin Ward already 200. Okay. We'll do that bad in the run game. Steven Norton Stone's actually leading the team 313 yards. Darn. Heck. Yo. I mean, thing is, he has 313 yards. And we are two and three. We're against LA. Um, we probably need a big points to win. Alright, so he had to somehow get it with yards, but I don't think it happened. Okay, well, he didn't get it. I will play, play in Baltimore. Uh, hey, at least he jumped five more out. Oh, heck. Drew Locke, I don't even know if... He's probably never going to be the quarterback of the future. Unless somehow his dev goes up to superstar and he's like a 75 by the end of the year. That's the only way that's going to happen. Which I doubt that will happen. He is putting up some big yards. And I think it's because we're missing our star end, Jarrell Casey. Is he still out? For some reason, he's, this happens. Why is this going to play? I want to see his ability. Links in. Has spear monitor. Which means he's probably going to get a lot of sacks. So unstoppable force and fear monitor are the best ones to have. Because you will engage with the quarterback. You're engaged with the blocker, and you make the quarterback scramble, and then you get an easy sack. Especially with his speed, he's going to be pretty dangerous. And we got another loss. What's two and five? At this point, I think we're just going to tank. All right. Kind of want to see what we do against Vegas because they're zero and six. We still lose. Hat. No, we got to go with extra preparation. We're two and five. Our only two wins are against a team with the best player in the entire league. Oh my. Well, we see one year returning. So we need you back. It's only slow to floor. Oh, when's he coming back? Week 13. I don't even know, I mean, usually when it's three weeks or more, I always have, have them start back up. We need to get this. I mean, we're running up big yard and not getting, not getting enough picks. I mean, how many interceptions do we even have this year? Probably like none. 
the game, things I saw the stats for, we were nowhere near getting any. Uh, go to defense. So we have three interceptions, three picks, yep. one week nine, which means we average one interception every three games. That is pretty good. But I think this run game is just getting their way better. So I want to sign Jamal Williams, so now yeah, overall power back. Really hoping that he will bring some good stuff to the run game. And see what we got. I always do that. Do we have a quarterback? Nothing. We're not doing good. We're not really doing that great. I mean, I honestly blame Colton Nelson because he gave up three sacks that big monster game. They got destroyed. And they got some decent players of agency, but I think that's only one I want to grab. Because Jarrell Casey, he's, he's gone for a long time. I might just move him to the practice squad here. I mean, it's probably best for him. So I will put him to the practice squad. I did grab a running back. It's probably the best for him in 60 overall. So, hopefully Jamal Williams brings some magic. And hopefully, I'm honestly just hoping that that bonus XP comes in handy. We can all actually win a game for a first time in a long time. I mean, they're six and two. We're two and six, or two and five, whatever. But uh, of course, we lost. No effect. It's a breakout. Game of Superstar Dev will probably be a really good because tight end. We're struggling. We're two and seven. Okay, that was a pretty low scoring game. Darn it. Hopefully we have some dev jumps. We have so far two breakouts. Thursday night. I just do rest. Dude, we're like two. What are we, 2 and 8? Yeah, guys, we're not getting a winning record this season. So, Joel Casey is finally available to play. Finally. And his first game back for injury. Come out, play at 38 points. That is defense is a strong point of this team. Because Bink's gonna be playing. Oh, uh, there we go. And also, we got Fear Monger. That is not hit. He's supposed to freaking our hit corner. Is he hit corner? I mean, off camera, I'm not really gonna do much preseason on camera. And our center's gone. Great. Off camera, I might do a bit of preseason. And I might, I mean, I might convert corners to play receiver. I want to convert a few corners to play some receiver to get their catching up so we can get more picks and actually make games closer. Got two wins, both against the Chiefs, and that they're struggling. We have finally win a game, forty-five to fourteen to 
spectacular fashion. Now can we build off of that? Sorry for the delay, I was scratching. Come on. Come on, another injury. It's something to do with the losing sevens. Dang it. Oh, this is going to be a fun last three games. Wow. Uh, Wow, 24-19, losing a five. Rapids, of course, it's so, I mean, we are not playing too bad when it comes out of defense. Offense just can't score enough points. 24, that's pretty good. Pretty good, I mean, we're not laying up too many points. Our offense just can't capitalize. 19 points, that's awful. We actually win. Holy, we actually win. And I think he, that's a superstar. Yes. We actually got another win. 8,000 XP for him. Let's go, dude. And of course, our center. Um, broken, so... Let's just start a backup, because our backup isn't that bad. Oh, that's a, that's a, no, that's going to be a fun way. And at least we can say that we actually got someone's dev up. Come on, let's go 5 and 11. Come on. What a way to end our season. Two consecutive wins. So we won, we won against the Bengals, won twice against the Chiefs. And then beat the Giants and the Eagles. And it looks like our division sucked all around. Two, so five, and eleven team, a seven and nineteen, then an eight and eighteen. All right. I bet LA's knocked out right now. Let's go ahead, Sim. Who the Super Bowl? Do the yearly rewards. There's a fly in the room. Cam Newton wins MVP. Ooh. This is going to be a fun building time. AFC, October Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year. For the rookie of the year, I don't know if we draft too much on offense. The winner of the year, defensive rookie of the year. I'm not surprised. Sean Weasley. I feel like we drafted good defensively, uh, at least three times. Well, I'm not going to look at that because our team really sucked. Alright, regressions and retirements when they hit us hard at core. Doesn't look like it actually did hit. Uh, hit us that hardcore. Shelby here, he's gone. Tim Patrick, he's probably gone. Alcanon Johnson, he might stay around for one last year. Holman's probably gone. Boyer, he's gonna stay around maybe. Lost Cow, you might have to go. Drought AC 80 overall. Open Wood 81. Pet, Gina Watkins 83. Oh my goodness. Did nobody retire? I don't think anyone retired. Yeah, I think the Browns won the Super Bowl. They lost by seven to them. Wise is going to have to step in. But big regression. I'm hoping to sign him to this deal. 
They get rid of Jarrell Casey. So I have to check out Jamal Williams. I don't know how good he really did. Russell, I suck up. I'm not signing him to that. <laughs> oh, neither of our old D linemen are have their contracts up. It means I won't have to trade them. I, I think I get some good out of Jarrell Casey. He wants to struck me more than ever now. I'm only get rid of both of these, see if anyone will want them. Bang. Those are the bang. Um, let's see, who has the better draft pick? 26, etc. <laughs> so, let's see what I'm struggling to understand there. Um, we also need right ends. I can't really give them anything to do these guys. I thought it was a linebacker. One sec, guys. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, we're back a little bit. The parents are going to go look at a car. <laughs> they need some deep, they need some line help. A handful of Gina Waskins. Going to be a third and a fifth as well. Drown Casey and Gina Watkins. Okay, a first and a third. Come on, just the first. That was even the climb. I don't even know if this is really reasonable. You afford this, you could afford them. Come on, Arizona. Come on, give us some love. Give us your first round draft pick. There we go. Okay, I got it for our big weakening to our defense. I also want to look at our roster. Or depth chart, whatever it is. See what kind of jumps in dev we got. Does it look like anything? There you go, your luck still starts. And there's no Bradley Chubbs still a superstar because he got that. But you look over there and you look. Johnson got a dev jump. Why is going to play here? And Harris play here. Hopefully this will work well on defense. Probably not at all. But hey, it could do something. Only one dev jump. I'll do some re-signing. Well, actually, I'll come back to you tomorrow. And re-sign everyone else. See you guys later. This will be your game saying goodbye. Goodbye.